Good morning, everybody. I finally have a yard sale haul for Saturday. <laughs> Once again, we didn't have any for yesterday because it was raining, and we had only one, and then when we went, we found several more. So, I will start over here as soon as I tell you about what an exciting day we had yesterday. It was raining, and about 2.30, I saw baby boy come flying down from the back of the yard, and then I looked and I saw this adorable little face peep around the side of the garage, and it was what was chasing baby. So I stepped out there, because I couldn't tell what it was. Well, it was the cutest little soaking wet puppy, and I thought, okay, I got to get him in and, and dry him off. Well, baby boy had run out front somewhere because he was afraid because it had chased him. So we took it in and dried it off, and it had the cutest face I have ever seen. It looked like it had some husky, and we didn't know what else, but it was, was a small dog. And you could tell it was scared to death, but it was so sweet. So baby boy tried to come in the house and he saw the cat well he went berserk because he was terrified he scratched me and I know he didn't mean to do it because he was scared so he went flying back outside so I told John I said I'm gonna take the dog back out so baby boy can come in because I don't want to terrify him it's you know it's his house so we I went outside with the dog by this time it had quit raining so I sat on the deck for probably two hours and then I had posted on Facebook lost and found pets I had posted on my Facebook page another neighbor had posted on the um, next door neighborhood thing and we hadn't had any response at all so it started raining, so I knew I couldn't take him in because by this time, baby boy had come back in through the other door, and I didn't want to upset him, so I sat out there with an umbrella on the deck with that puppy, and the puppy was just content as could be to sit beside me on the love seat on the deck, on the back deck. So, so finally, a neighbor came over, and she brought dog food. Baby boy's behind me. Here's baby boy. <laughs> she brought dog food over for the little thing, and I had give it turkey because that was all I had, and give it water, and it had ate. So it ate dog food with her, and so she and I took it to the vet to see if it was chipped, and it wasn't. And they said that it definitely had husky, but it was not going to be big like a husky because it didn't have the big feet. But they wasn't sure what the other breed was. So I was out in the garage. We, we put it in the garage for the night. I left it with food and water and, and a couple big thick towels to sleep on. And this morning when I went out there, it was so happy to see me. And while I was sitting in a chair, I took it out and let it use the bathroom and, and fed it. And while I was sitting in the garage with it, I got a phone call. This was a bit, probably about 7 or a little after seven and it the woman had seen the post well her daughter had seen the post and she called me and she said you have my dog she said we've been looking all night for it and to make sure I had the right person I wasn't just gonna hand it over to anybody I asked her I said um, what's its name and she said her name is baby girl which ironically that's what I was calling her I didn't you know want to say it's a girl so she said her name is baby girl and I said, well, what breed is she? And uh, she said, her mother is a husky and her father is a chihuahua, if you can imagine that. So she said that uh, they were worried all night about it and that she would come right then. She didn't live but a couple streets over and she didn't know how it had got out of their yard. So she came and got it and my neighbor came up. <laughs> The one that had brought the food, and she cross-examined this woman to make sure it was the right lady. And, and the lady showed us pictures of, of uh, the little dog's brother and uh, its father, you know, all this stuff. And 
So Ann said, well, I'll go get the dog and bring it to y'all. So Ann came up here in the driveway, went in the garage, and at the top of the driveway, Ann let it go, and the woman called it, and it flew to her. It was so happy to see her. So this was a happy ending, but this was a major stressful night for me because I worried about that little dog all night long, and it also taught me, and I already knew it. John just is the one that wasn't sure that we could never have a puppy at our age. <laughs> They have too much energy. They wind around your feet. And me and John, our balance sometimes is not great. So that's an accident waiting to happen. But it was precious. And I'm just so happy that its owner came and got it. So now with the small haul. We got this ironing board. It doesn't have the legs. And that's a good thing because John would have had to have taken the legs off anyway. We only paid $5 for it. I'm either going to, John's either going to paint it and then I'll put the details on it for a snowman or a Santa Claus. If we do a snowman, we'll have to make a wood top hat so that the top of the head doesn't look knobby like it is now. But anyway, for $5, that was a great buy and he doesn't have to go to the trouble to take the legs off. Then we got these two beautiful winter and spring plates. This is the Friendly Village, Johnson Brothers, made in England. I don't know if this one is Friendly Village. Yeah, this one is Friendly Village, too. This is Willow by the Brook. And this one is the Schoolhouse. They were a dollar a piece, so I was thrilled to get those. Then I got these, and they are filthy. I haven't cleaned anything up. Got the salt and pepper and allspice and paprika set. That was a dollar. And then at the same sale, I got this box of tangled jewelry. But look at some of the pieces. I wanted them used for craft projects. Look at those gorgeous beads and some of the pieces in here. See, it's a tangled mess. But it has a lot of beautiful old beads on it. And for a dollar, I couldn't go wrong with that. Then got this sweet little... Scotty figurine for 50 cents and this one. This one has a little chip on the ear but I can touch that up because I have a Scotty collection. A terrier collection because of we've had a terrier but I had that even before we had the terrier but I've always loved them. And then got this really cute little clock for a dollar. It says J-E-R-J-E-R. -E -E I don't know whether you can see that right there. Maybe. Anyway, it's a pretty little clock. It's made in Germany. And that was a dollar. Then I got this bag of silverware. There are a couple pieces of stainless and then most is silverware. That was two dollars. And then got this little crock back here, and I can't read what's on the bottom of it. I'll have to take a magnifying glass and see if I can read it. But that was $2. And then got this awesome old, really tall cheese box. I don't know whether you can read that or not. I can't exactly. Anyway, that was $3. So John is going to stain that up. I was thrilled to death to get this. See, I can't. It says, Thursday's Box Company, Marathon, Wisconsin. Guarantees this box meets the CCC cheese specifica specifications. Specifications. Good Lord, Gene. I must be talking Southern English again. But anyway, for $3, that was a good buy. Then the last thing we got was this box of old doorknobs. And it has all the, the lock and key things. And it's a bunch of them in it. And it's even one key down in there. And that was $10. And in that box of jewelry, there was these little miniatures. This is a little candle holder. There's a little alligator and a little iron. So I may use those in some of the shadow box things that I want to do. So this is it. And I'm sorry for rambling, but it was a rough, 
afternoon and night last night so i know i kept rambling and i'm still rambling so i hope y'all have a wonderful weekend love and blessings to y'all from me and john and baby boy and i'll probably do one of the bedroom halloween tours tomorrow i'm wore out today so <laughs> till the next time bye bye